Okay! Yes! This is the eighth week of our Summer of Bottoming, where each week we will be doing deep dives into IMDb's bottom 100 list of the 100 worst films of all time, and it has been pure unmitigated hell. That's the Pope on Film promise. Uh, last week we saw 2018 Slender Man, and this week we are developing engrams with a look at the legendary bad film Battlefield Earth, which, oh my God, best film of all time. It's it, it it's <sighs> been you. hard. It's been hard so far, but to our credit, neither one of us has cried yet. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're, we might we might get there this week. Uh, it came close, which swept away. I, oh I, I God! Was yeah, that very was very emotional. That was and, week one. Huh? Yes. Yeah. That yeah. was week one. Yes. Uh, to think that we started so strong. Uh. Where is swept away this now? Uh, it I, it I really swept can't... away may have been swept away because the difficult thing about doing well, a look into the bottom 100 is that it's constantly changing. So for all I know, it might not even be on the list anymore. On the last week, you guys need to do a review of these were on the list when we did them, and these aren't, or this is where they are now. Yeah. Because, like, it's changing constantly. So that's interesting. Uh, I didn't think about that. But, okay, so, but every week during Act 1, in the beginning of the show, I like to spend a wee bit of time discussing one of the 100 movies on the list that we will not be watching this summer because we can't we can't watch all of them. There isn't 100 weeks in a single summer yet. We have scientists working on this as we speak. There aren't 100 weeks of summer, but there are 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. Anywho. Okay, okay but here's how can it perfect. Every day would be quite a week. Yeah, nice. They would, like, stretch time. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So anyway, uh, this week, uh, we will be talking... One of the movies that we will not be doing on the podcast that I want to talk about is a 2004 German film called Daniel Der Zauberer. Okay. Which roughly translates to Daniel the Wizard... And I, I don't even know how to, ex to, to begin to quickly tell you the story of Daniel Kubelbach, a.k.a. Lana Kaiser. But I'm going to try. It's going to be a little mini shaft. So, so here you go. Daniel the Wizard is number 16 on the list, or at least it was in the beginning of this week when I wrote all this. So... Daniel Kubelbach was a contestant on the very popular German singing show Deutschland sucht den Superstar. In 2003, he came in third place. He parlayed that into a record contract, and he released 14 albums. Five of them were live albums between 2003 and 2016. He was so popular that he that in 2004 he wrote and starred in a film called Daniel the Wizard about his life except in this film uh, an evil wizard is trying to kill him so he learns magic with the combined and with the combined forces of uh, magic and Daniel singing he's able to bring peace plus he keeps having visions of his dead grandfather who occasionally has one arm and it's widely considered to be one of Germany's worst films which says a lot because it's Germany yes uh, I've seen the previews and it looks pretty bad what it looks like is uh, a community theater production of The Room uh, okay. is what Daniel is what Daniel the Wizard looks like. I found the film, but I haven't found it in English, which is why I wanted to do it this summer. I just couldn't find an English translation of it. Uh, it looks like absolute trash, and we won't be doing it this summer. 
now. But if uh, I'm going to keep looking, and if I can find like a sub or a dub version of Daniel the Wizard, then you bet your ass we will be doing Daniel Der Zauberer at some point in time down the road. So be ready for that. But there's more to the story. Because Daniel Kubelbach made this movie. It's wildly considered to be like Germany's worst film. Uh, His career continued after making such a horrible film. He was on German Big Brother. He was on another German reality show called Let's Let's Dance. And he even released a line of unisex perfume, which I like. I like that. It's like when uh, Alice Cooper released a line of unisex eyeshadow in oh. the seventies. You know, so uh, pioneer. So if Daniel Kubelbach first came out as bi, then he came out as gay. Then in twenty eighteen, she said that she was trans and she was now a woman named. Lana Kaiser, and that she would live out the rest of her life as a woman. Shortly after making this announcement, Lana went on a cruise headed to New York City, and on September 9th, 2018, Lana jumped overboard. Her body was never found, and finally on March 2021, Germany officially declared Lana dead after an exhaustive search could not find Lana's body me being an American who in the past has watched a shit ton of Dateline NBC I automatically think okay then I've seen this episode who threw Lana off of the cruise ship but apparently no she just killed herself which is really sad you know me being the American I'm like ah there's more to this story Who killed her? What was her motive? Was it love? Was it revenge? But no, apparently Lana was just um, depressed, uh, mental illness, killed herself, which is sad. But yeah, Daniel the Wizard, we won't be watching it this summer. But if I can, but it looks to be a wonderful, wonderfully bad movie. Like phenomenally bad. But it does, it is a bit morbid now knowing that the star of the film um, killed themselves, but uh, yeah, uh, Daniel the Wizard you should at least see the preview, It's uh, the, the trailer is on YouTube, it is morbidly fascinating uh, <laughs> tra- it, it, is, it is frightening, also if you are watching this live uh, hi, and there is exactly one hour left to still vote on what movie we will be doing next week for the podcast. We are in, we are near the end game, people. We are near nearing the end of the list. This week's movie is number twenty, so we're getting close to the end. So yes, uh, yes. So the three movies that are that are in in line for us to do next week are Alone in the Dark a Yui Bull film where Tara Reid plays a scientist from Justin to Kelly, the American Idol film and Son of the Mask, which some people will think, oh, that's the low budget sequel to the mask. No, Son of the Mask had a bigger budget than the mask did. (laughs) It had more money. It had more of a studio backing. It had more financial support than Jim Carrey's The Mask had. So, uh, plus, I really want to rip on Jamie Kennedy. He was at, he was tricked into uh, appearing last year. Jamie Kennedy was tricked into appearing, in, in co-starring in a far-right anti-abortion film. Really? Okay. Cold. Yeah, there were. It was a it was a real smear hit piece movie called Roe v. Wade, and uh, Jamie Kennedy was in it. And apparently, if you want Jamie Kennedy to be in your far right film, all you have to do is go up to Jamie Kennedy and say, "So we're thinking about a dramatic." role for you and it doesn't matter what you say after that you had Jamie Kennedy at dramatic role (laughs) 
because he had no idea that he was in a far right uh, film with all of these uh, like far right extremist uh, white power figures. So that's so the fact that he didn't know that they were far right extremist Republican figures kind of lends credit to the fact that he's not. Well, you know? Yeah, but apparently. Oh, right. So we want you to star in this film. We're thinking of a dramatic role for you. It's all about how QAnon is real and Donald Trump is the real president and there are lizard people. And it's like, oh, you don't have to say anything else. You had me a dramatic role. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy will be there Monday, bright and early. So apparently that's how you get Jamie Kennedy. So there's a, there's oh, a. I need to, uh, I need to propose some ideas to Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, that's that's all you need. That's all you need. It's fascinating. So that's it for uh, our look into the movies we won't be doing. I. I wanted to do Son of the Mask just to rip on Jamie Kennedy, the star of uh, Son of Son of the Mask, but what? right now it's only getting 6% of the vote, so I don't yeah. think we'll be ripping on Jamie Kennedy next week. Oh. I, I, I went and I okay. voted for Son of the Mask. And by the yeah, because you got to vote for the other Yeah, uh, I voted for Alone in the Dark yeah, because we've never done a Uwe Bowl film on the podcast. And what happened? Well, he got outside. Now we're going to pick him up. And Omar has money. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Hooray. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, next week, we will be talking when we get to the part of Act 1 where we talk about the movie that we won't be doing for the podcast. We will be talking about a Turkish propaganda film that is currently number four. On the list of the 100 worst movies of all time. Number four. Really? So, yeah, we'll be talking about that next week. So be sure and join us for more of uh, the 100 worst movies we won't be watching this summer. And cut on that. <laughs>